everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a review on the ColourPop X Sailor Moon Collection. If you do wanna see a review and a demo, please keep watching. I purchased two items from the collection. I purchased the blush and the eyeshadow palette. This collection also came with some glitter gels, the Moon Prison Power, and the Moonlight Legend Glitter Gel. I didn't purchase the glitter gels because I didn't think I was ever gonna use it, so I passed on that. It also comes with two different lip products. It comes with an ultra blotted lip and an ultra glossy lip. I looked at the two shades and I wasn't a huge fan, so I skipped on those. The only two things in this collection I was super excited for was the eyeshadow palette and the blush. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. I love Luna. She is so cute. And then at the top, you do have the shade name. The bottom, you have the barcode. And when you turn it over to the back, it says Sailor Moon X Color Pop. And this is from the Moon Press Powder Blush. And you have the ingredients here on the bottom. Let's go ahead and open this up. The packaging is stunning. I think I'm going to keep this in my collection. Let's open. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is so cute in person. Look how cute, I love this. When you tilt it this way, it's a different picture. When you tilt it forward, how cute. The packaging is so cute, I love this. I love how fun this is. When you turn it over on the back, it says from the moon, press powder, and then it says ColourPop X Sailor Moon. Let's open this up. How cute is this blush? Oh my goodness, it comes with a mirror? What, I was not expecting that. Wow, this blush is so cute. I just love the embossment. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but how cute. I don't want to mess it up, but I do want to swatch it for you guys. Here's what the blush looks like. Wow, that's so pigmented. I'm going to swatch the blush. This blush is super pigmented, definitely go in with a light hand. Let's actually touch up the cheeks. I don't have any blush on, I just have a little bit of bronzer. Taking my blush brush, we're gonna dip into the blush. I feel so bad dipping into it. I don't want to mess up the embossment. You guys can see that there is a little bit of fallout, but my brush is coated. I'm just gonna apply a little bit to the apples of my cheeks. Wow, that is so pretty. It is so nice and soft. That is so pretty, you guys. There is another blush in this collection. I didn't purchase that because it looked a little bit too shimmery. This blush looked matte and I'm super happy with it. A little bit does go a long way, so you guys can see the difference. Nothing on this cheek, and look how this cheek looks. It looks really good. I'm gonna be doing the other cheek. So pigmented, I didn't even have to dip back into the pan. This blush retails for $12 online on ColourPop's website. I would highly recommend it. Moving on to the Pretty Guardian eyeshadow palette. Here's a closer look on what the eyeshadow palette looks like. It says Sailor Moon. How cute is this? It is adorable. I love the little moon, the detail in the packaging. It's very nice. When you tilt it to the top, it does say Sailor Moon. And then when you flip it over on the back, you do have the shade name, the ingredients, the barcode. On one side of the packaging, it does say ColourPop. And then when you turn it over to the other side, it says Sailor Moon. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see what the eyeshadow palette looks like. Wow. Again, the packaging, it's just so gorgeous. When you tilt it down, you can see she's smiling. When you tilt it the other way, her mouth is open. So pretty. On the back, you do have the shade names. So that is super exciting. Hopefully this comes with a mirror. I'm not sure. I didn't open it up before. Uh, it doesn't come with a mirror. Anyways, here we have all of the eyeshadows. Here's what all 12 shades look like at the top. It does say Sailor Moon. And again, it does have that beautiful reflective packaging. Let's go ahead and start swatching. The first shade is called Shining Moon. Ooh, it's so soft in the pan. Here's what Shining Moon looks like. Wow, it is super pigmented. I didn't have to dig deep into the palette. Shining Moon is described as a pale peach with hot pink pinpoints. Let's blend it out a little bit. It's a beautiful eyeshadow. The next shade is called Twilight Flash. Very soft in the pan again. Here's what Twilight Flash looks like. Another pigmented shadow. Twilight Flash is described as a vibrant tangerine shade. A little bit light. Let's blend it out. We'll build it up if needed. Here's what Twilight Flash looks like. I do want to build up that shadow. I have a little bit more of Twilight Flash. Let's build it up. 
a little bit better. The next shade is called Silver Crystal. Wow, this is even softer than the previous matte shadow. Here's what Silver Crystal looks like. Silver Crystal is described as a soft pink with a gold flip. Let me blend this shadow out. We'll build it up as well. That shade is gorgeous. I have a little bit of the shade in Silver Crystal. We're gonna swatch that shade again and blend it out. It's so sparkly. Let's see what the next shade looks like. The last shade in the top row is called Moon Castle. It's another soft, buttery shadow. Here's what Moon Castle looks like. You can barely see it. Moon Castle is described as a soft coral shade. Let's blend this shade out. I do want to build it up as well. Here's a little bit more of the shade in Moon Castle. Build it up, blend it out. These shades are buildable, which I do like. Here's what the shade in Moon Castle looks like. The first shade in the second row is called Full Moon. Another soft shadow. Here's what Full Moon looks like. Wow, it's so sparkly. Full Moon is described as a yellow orange with a gold flip. Let's blend out this shade. Another gorgeous sparkly shimmer. The next shade is called Silver Millennium. Wow, this is so soft in the pan. This is softer than the previous shadow. Here's what that shade looks like. Let me dig in a little bit more so you guys can see. Silver Millennium feels like a super soft shadow. That is stunning. Silver Millennium is described as a yellow gold shade. It's so soft and pigmented, a little bit goes a long way. Let's blend it out as well. Look at that. The first couple shades we swatch it doesn't draw me in like the packaging drew me in. So let's keep on swatching to see what the next shades look like. The next shade is called Mare Serenitatis. Ooh, this one is so buttery in the pan. There's absolutely no fallout, which I'm shocked. The pigment, it's gorgeous. Here's what the shade in Mare Serenitatis looks like. Wow, this shade is unlike anything in my collection. I do have a little bit more of that shadow. I do want to build it up and blend it out. It feels wet in the pan, like a jelly texture. Gorgeous. I feel like the shade in Mare Serenitatis will look great as a highlighter. Look how reflective the shade is. The next shade is called Luna. Luna is another soft shadow. Here's what Luna looks like. My favorite color, of course, is purple. You guys know that. I would expect nothing less from a purple shade. Luna is described as an iridescent lavender shade. Wow, that shadow pops. Look at that. Let me blend it out. That shade is gorgeous. Look how it pops versus the other shadows. The first shade in the bottom row is called Justice. Another soft matte shade. Here's what Justice looks like. Ooh, that's pigmented. Justice is described as a yellow with gold and silver pinpoints. The next shade is called Tuxedo Rose. Here's what Tuxedo Rose looks like. Tuxedo Rose is described as a vibrant coral red with silver pinpoints. Let's try to build up that shade. I have a little bit more of the shade in Tuxedo Rose. We're gonna try to build it up and blend it out. That's a much better swatch of the shade in Tuxedo Rose. The next shade is called Love. Another soft shadow. Here's what Love looks like. Love is described as a rosy pink with silver pinpoints. I don't like how that shade swatched, so I do have a little bit more of that shadow. We're gonna swatch it once more and blend it out. Here's what the shade in Love looks like. The last shade in the palette is called Miracle Romance. Another soft shade in the pan. Here's what Miracle Romance looks like. Miracle Romance is described as an orchid shadow. I do want to build up that shadow. It didn't swatch as great. So again, I have a little bit more of that shade. 
Here we have all 12 shades swatched on the back of my hand. When I look at the swatches on the back of my hand, I feel like this palette is a little bit too light on me. I'm not a huge fan of the palette swatches, but let's go ahead and create a look using this palette. Taking a fluffy brush, we're gonna dip into the shade Moon Castle. We're gonna be applying that all over the crease. I'm gonna be using the mirror in the blush. The eyeshadow palette doesn't have a mirror. I think the eyeshadow palette should have included a mirror versus the blush. I can see myself traveling with the palette. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Again, we're taking the shadow in Moon Castle. We're going back and forth in our crease to build up the pigment. I'm not obsessed with this matte corally shade. It's not my favorite. Taking that same fluffy brush, we're going to dip into the shade Twilight Flash. We're going to be applying the shade right underneath the shade in Moon Castle. Just below Moon Castle, I don't want to cover up that shadow. Take your time when building up these shadows. It's not going to be super pigmented at first. We're going to be doing the same thing for the other eye. I'm gonna keep building up the shadow in Twilight Flash. So far, you guys, I'm not a huge fan of these two shadows. A little bit too light for me if they were a bit more pigmented. Normally, ColourPop shadows are super pigmented and I don't have to use a lot of product. These two shades, I had to go in several times. Normally, never reach for a palette that is barely pigmented and that I have to keep going back in the palette, add more pigment. I wouldn't use it as much. I don't mind taking the time to build up a shadow. Now we have all the time in the world. I'm not impressed how these shades are performing. Swapping my brush for a flat brush, I'm going to take the shade in Justice. Ooh, there's a little bit of fallout. Do you guys see that? I was not expecting that. I'm just tapping my brush into Justice and do you guys see how much fallout that shade has? I'm going to place the shadow in Justice in the inner part of my lid. We're going to pack that shadow. I'm loving the shade Injustice. It made this side of my eye pop. I'm gonna do the same thing. Patting that shadow in, making sure we're not covering up the other two shadows. It just brightened up my eyes. Swapping my brush, we're gonna dip into the shade Luna. This is another flat brush. We're gonna be taking that shade and placing that in the center of my lid. I'm gonna try not to cover up the other shadows. I feel like I covered the other shades, but that's totally fine. Actually, let me just use my fingertip. I have a little bit of the shadow in Luna. I'm just gonna be placing that in the center of my lid. I do have a little bit of fallout. It's fine, we can dust that away later. Such a pretty shadow. I'm gonna be doing the same thing for my other eye. I do want to play with one more shade and it's the shade in Miracle Romance. I'm using another fluffy brush. We're going to be placing that on our outer V. I just want to place it on my outer V and then move it inward towards the crease. You guys see, I just stamped it and then moved it a little bit up. Doing the same thing, hopefully I don't mess up. Stamping and then pushing it up to the crease. I do want to blend it ever so slightly. That way there's no harsh lines. Same thing on this side. We did lose a little bit of the shadow in Luna. We'll go back using our fingertip. Something just like this. Taking a little bit of the shadow in Luna, we're gonna pop that in the center. I love how pigmented this shadow is, and I didn't have to wet it. I'm gonna be taking my Dior Plump and Volume Mascara. We're gonna be doing one last coat. I already applied two coats of this mascara earlier before we apply the eyeshadow. I'm also gonna be taking that to my bottom lashes. I do wanna apply one more shadow in my inner corner and it's the shade in Silver Millennium. A little bit goes a long way. To complete the look, I think I'm going to choose from my ColourPop Lippy Sticks. I have 48 shades. I did swatch all 48 shades. If you guys have not seen that video, I'll link it right over here in the cards. I'm going to apply the shade in Songbird. This lip shade is a little bit too bright. I do have another option. Another shade is called Capiche. 
This shade is more neutral and the eyes pop, whereas the previous shade in Songbird kind of matches their ultra blotted lip in this collection. Overall, my final thoughts on the blush is that I love it. For $12, it's such a great pigmented blush. Plus, you get a little mirror included. Highly recommend you guys picking this up when it does come back in stock. The eyeshadow palette, I'm not a huge fan of. I don't really like these matte shadows. They don't pop on my eyes. I love the shimmer shadows. They are so buttery in the pan. They're very pigmented. Like the shade in Luna, it's super reflective, super pigmented. Silver Millennium, it does have that putty texture. So reflective in the inner corner. It is gorgeous. Of course, I love the purple shadows in the palette. Miracle Romance was so pretty. These two were my overall favorite. This eyeshadow palette retails for $20 on ColourPop.com and at Ulta Beauty. For me personally, I wasn't impressed by the color story. It's a little bit matte in my opinion, but I would purchase the palette just for the shimmer shadows. I think it's definitely worth it for $20. The packaging is so cute. It's definitely a collector's item. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.